Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Thanks so much guys for stopping by, for taking the time to check out my research. So much is going on out there that not enough people know. And that is, I don't know. <laughs> I can't say what is going on exactly up there. Aside from there are people up there, there are beings, right? Um, also, biological creatures, what I believe I'm seeing. Could be storms, though. Never ruling anything out. This is where they landed, the Apollo uh, 11 landing. I mean, come on. Where the heck would they have roamed around? And the photos show a flat surface. Anyways, just my opinion. Um, I'm going to get some music up. And thanks so much for your support, everyone. A lot coming this weekend. It's been raining here for four or five days. Massive clouds. UFOs found in my town. And of course, they posted that in the news and then not a word about it. So we're going to get in very close to the exterior. Of course, the line of light and darkness to see. And I mean really close. Geometrical shapes. 90 degree angles platforms connected around the craters that cannot be seen unless you're pressed up against it oh by the way i just i had to mention this and this is going to be good anyways elon musk you know that he's losing his place right he was caught for some kind of a fraud or security fraud or something so yeah one guy told me that i was wrong about you know, structures on the moon and it being inhabited, that they're going to have tours and that everyone's going to see that there's nothing up there. And I said, never, ever in your lifetime or any of us here or anyone watching right now, will any of us ever see a tour to the moon. I guarantee it. This will linger on for years 30, 40, 50, 60 years. We won't see any construction there for many humans. I hate to say I was right, but I only use common sense. That's for sure. Only common sense. Why am I thinking this? Why is that my hypothesis? Well, the reason is because if there is a species up there, and I know there is, unless they're interacting with humans um, peacefully, we will not see any humans there. And then again, even if there are humans interacting with them, maybe it's supposed to remain secretive. Look at the massive structures on the top right here. Can you see how high and elevated they are? They're very dark structures too. They remain dark. They're dark and mysterious and scary. But, you know, sometimes we don't see them. That line of light shows us all the truth. The Apollo 11 landing site guys seriously it's i mean look okay it's very colorful it's very very green we're coming up to it right here that's the mare where they landed right in the center there where that shiny crater is with a round perfectly round edge at the back well it's just a bit higher than that so top center that's where they landed look at the platform in the center and all these objects here that you see different levels and stuff. Well, that's where they landed. And if they landed there, well, where the heck is that flat surface that they showed us? Seriously, look what we're looking at. Yes, okay, it's vast, could be a couple miles, but let me tell you, there's only a clearing here of about six to 10, maybe 15 miles. I mean, come on, there's, look at the surface and how green it is. And look how elevated and it looks like cotton candy, doesn't it? It's all just jumbled up and could be blurs or industrial smokes and hazes. When you zoom into the surface, you see little lights, smaller lights closer to the surface. And that's where I believe is that level where we're just, there's a second veil. There really is a second veil. And that second veil is the lower atmos atmosphere. And it's also where all the movement could or is under that second veil, veils of atmosphere or disturbances, whatever they may be. Guys, do you not find it weird that Elon Musk was supposed to go private and then they're saying that he did not have any investors or any funds? It was it was this Saudi, um, I don't know exactly, uh, group or of some kind, the Saudis, that he was depending. They wanted to invest 
into Elon Musk, um, considering that he would be going private, they would invest more money. So that's what he meant when he said that he had investors, uh, uh, private funding. He was talking about the Saudis. So look at the green on the top right here. Wow. But it's it's interesting, right? It really fascinates me that now, how does the how do the laws work in the states? Why does why is he now not allowed to own any company or because of the fraud? I guess or uh, I understand it, but wow, doesn't the system really screw him up? Right. So we're finished, uh, I guess. No more going to the moon. No more doing this. No more uh, sending cars to space. No more, you know. No more nothing. You know, you want to become a big CEO in life and you want to run a bunch of companies and uh, be in popular magazines, etc., on covers and have interviews. Well, that's all always possible, but, you know, it has to be done the way they want it done. It has to be done um, under their supervision, their way. And, uh, you know, you can't change anything. These people that are popular, you know, whether it's a myth or not, they say that the elites, uh, you know, they rule um, the popularity like the stars and the Hollywood, etc. You know, I, I don't get too caught up in that. But when you think of it, you know, it could be true. Hey, I'm just, you know, we see it. We see it in the news, right? We see it with some actors. We see it with some famous people, writers, singers, etc. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you, you know, once in a while things happen, you know, with NASA, Elon Musk, etc. Everything in space that's going on. I don't have time with the research, but I do want to talk about it sometimes. And we're going to be very close. We're very close in this video. We're getting in extremely close, low angle views. I love the low angle views. It helps us see the structures because overhead structures, it's always nice to get a little bit of an angle. Get it? 